To start with the attempt to wrap your object, all you have to do is simple. First, you introduce the cylinder by pressing Shift plus A, select the mesh, and branch out to cylinder. Press Tab to switch to the edit mode, and you select the faces of the cylinder, and you press X to pop up the option to delete the faces. Next, you move on to the shading menu, where you will be given the privilege to add your design material texture. If you want to learn how to sketch out static designs that can be used for your YouTube videos with Adobe After Effects, check out my old videos. Back to today's topic, you click on New, and by default, the principled BSDF will pop up. From there, you can drag your static design into the interface and make sure you link it to the principled BSDF. Immediately after introducing your image, you can press Ctrl plus T and this option will pop up. This will allow you to modify your image further, just like I am currently doing. Next, you go to the UV mapping section, where you can further align your image texture to the object for better adjustments and dimensional accuracy. Furthermore, you add a modifier to the image texture this time around. Let it be the shrink wrap modifier, set the target, and let it be the bottle. Finally, set the offset to the value of 0.02. And there you have it. I believe this process was straightforward to follow. If you love this procedural guide, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Good luck. I can't wait to hear from you. Let me know if you need any more help.